So it has been so long since I have filmed a video and I'm not going to make this intro really long because it is a chit chat um, get ready with me. Sorry I keep messing with my eyelashes. I'm just going to do like a very impromptu video today of me just doing this makeup which is my everyday look and I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about like what's been going on in my life, where I've been and all that stuff. So anyways, like I said, not gonna make the intro long, so just keep watching if you wanna see the video. Today, I'm just going to do like my basic everyday makeup, um, just cause I'm actually like trying to get ready kind of fast um, because I'm going to lunch with my mom. So anyways, I'm just gonna get started. Uh, so I have not filmed in so long. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just realized I forgot to put my contacts in. So I'm actually going to do that after I put this concealer on. Um, so yeah, it's been so long since I filmed. And I don't know, I've just like not been in the good mental state to film because obviously it does take a lot of energy to sit here and talk but I do love it and I miss it so much um so I feel like I'm finally in like a decent place where I feel like I want to film okay I'll be right back I'm gonna go put my contacts in really quick I got my contacts in um so like I was saying I haven't filmed in so so long um and I feel like I just kind of got burnt out sorry I have a mirror behind the camera so if I'm not looking at the camera, that's why. Well, obviously, I'm not going to look at the camera while I'm doing my makeup. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I kind of got burned out on, like, beauty videos because I feel like so many people do them. I know I'm not the best at makeup, and I'm not trying to, like, pretend like I am. There's so many good people. I mean, there's so many people that are, like, so good. I make up so I just feel like I'm not creative enough for that side of it so I want to come back and film sorry I'm so out of breath because I just ran up the stairs um but so I want to come back and film like more lifestyle videos like kind of more like relaxed and chill and like not just sitting here in front of the camera like this one-on-one -on -one. um because I just feel like it's like what everybody does and I just want to do something different and like fun and uplifting and very chill like that's what I'm all about is just very chill videos so um I need to catch my breath because I'm talking so much too so my favorite foundation that I've been using is the Maybelline Superstay in the color 310 so yeah I've been using that I love it still um and then the instant erase age rewind concealer so yeah let me know what kind of ideas you guys have for videos like I don't I just don't even know anymore like you know I can do like casual chit chats like this but I can't always do that um I can do like house type videos, cooking videos, not like I'm a good cook, but like, you know, just like different things like that. I don't know. Just let me know if you guys have any ideas, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but I definitely want to get back into YouTube because I miss you guys so much. Um, and of course I love to do like hauls and that kind of stuff those are always like my favorite to watch like try on hauls I love watching try on hauls um and like home decor videos and like DIY stuff I don't know um like if you guys know who Amber Scholl is like I love watching her videos and they're all so chill like she's never sitting in front of the camera like this which I like because she's just very like free-spirited I guess I kind of like that style of video and she's just like always doing fun things like it's not anything serious like I feel like the beauty world is so serious like I have I don't even know the last time I watched like an actual beauty video I'm just not into it I don't know I'm just 
I'm not about that life anymore, you know? This is the whole of Ronder. Um, so yeah, anyways, enough about that. Just let me know if you guys have any um, ideas on videos you want to see. Um, you know, casual videos. So enough about that. So we're obviously going through a pandemic right now and it's very, very stressful. I have been very stressed out um, and I'm not even sure why, but this time has been very stressful for me. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus. Um, I'm not gonna get into detail on that because it's very like a touchy subject for some people, but Sorry, my mom just texted me. But yeah, so I was out of work for two months. Um, so that was part of the reason it was super stressful because I was not essential, clearly. I do nails for a living and we're not essential. So that was really hard to stay closed for two months and it was really stressful trying to get like unemployment and because if you're in the beauty industry, you know like you're, you're self-employed so it was just a it was a big disaster and it was just a really stressful time but to be like more positive about it it did teach me like a lot of things i'm very independent anyways but i like i love being by myself i mean that's just how i am so not one day went by and i was said that i was bored like i just love being home i love relaxing my cat is right here i had so much fun just like spending time at home with him and i would you know life was great i'll wake up i would go have my coffee outside and just like just sit outside all day um, I wasn't spending money I stopped eating fast food during quarantine because I did not have the extra money to be spending so I was very frugal with everything since I've gone back to work which I've gone back to work maybe it's been a little over a month now um, but I feel like I've saved so much money because I'm not just blowing money every day on like food or like stupid stuff like I don't even know so anyways quarantine is over in my state we are not completely open but and obviously it's getting worse like most places it's getting worse now so I'm like was all that that time wasted time just to go backwards I don't know but anyways I don't want to talk about this anymore I don't even know why I'm talking about it few months back I filmed a house tour video and I never posted it so I think I'm gonna refilm that but if you guys don't follow me on social media you probably would not know that I moved um, I purchased a house it's crazy to say almost a year ago I bought it um, so I was filming that video Hold on, I need to get something to like stand this little mirror on. So I filmed that house tour video and I never posted it. So I think I'm gonna refilm that just cause I feel like I did a little bit of stuff to my house since then. So um, this video will probably go up before that, but I'm definitely gonna film my house tour. And it's obviously, it's not a finished house tour video because I'm somebody that like always likes to change stuff and yeah, I barely have decorated my house since I moved in. Um, so I purchased it back in August. It's a townhouse. I'm not going to go like too deep into this because I'll talk about it a little bit more in the house tour video. But I did renovate the whole house. So I didn't move in until it was about the beginning of October. So I spent all my time and all my money like replacing the floors and I painted the whole house and I had to get new bathroom sinks for all the bathrooms and it was just like a lot of different little things um but any of you guys that own a house or have ever like remodeled a house or anything know that it's like a money pit and it is so expensive to do that stuff so yeah I've been trying to like recover from all that spending and I'm still not done like I still need new countertops and um, like light fixtures just like little things here and there but sorry I'm trying to concentrate so oh, it's not anywhere near done but I really want to post that and I can always do an updated one after I like get new furniture and stuff because all the furniture that I have was from like when me and my ex-boyfriend moved out and that was like what 
was like six years ago maybe so um yeah so that video will probably go up next um but if you have any other ideas other than that that would be great so yeah that's basically all that's been going on with me is finally back to work and been working on my house really really hard if you guys know like i'm such a homebody so for me like to work on my house is super important because i love to be home like it's my it's like my sanctuary i guess um it's just like there's no better feeling than coming home after like a long day of work and just being able to like chill in your house I sound really stupid <laughs> so yeah that's that let me think of what else has been going on um i think you guys knew that i didn't have a boyfriend me and my ex-boyfriend oh my god my cat is attacking me me and my ex-boyfriend broke up oh was it like three years ago maybe um yeah we lived together so that was like a lot for me to handle like mentally as well we can do like more talking videos about stuff like that um because i've struggled a lot like with my mental health and trying to get myself in like a better frame of mind and you know if anybody goes through like big life changes like that you know that it's just super hard and I just felt like I was in a rut for like ever and I just couldn't get out of it and I don't know but I feel like I'm finally kind of getting over that hump we all still have bad days right um because that's just life and that's how it is to be human you just go through good days and bad days um I'm actually gonna do my winged liner off camera because I have to go like down to the mirror. So I'll be right back. Okay, I definitely effed up this wing, but it's okay. I'm just kinda in a rush to get ready. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm single, was dealing with like mental health issues. Um, and I like, I cope with that stuff on my own a lot. I don't generally, talk about it openly so for me I just it just takes me a long time to kind of mentally get there again so that's also part of the reason why I haven't wanted to film because I just wasn't in like a happy place in my life so to sit here and put on like a big smile and a happy face was really hard for me to like even think about doing but yeah those of you who have gone through major things like that you understand and also know that if you guys ever 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 need somebody to talk to you can always message me um on instagram is where you're more likely to get an answer um but you can always message me anywhere on any of my platforms um which is basically instagram snapchat and youtube because i don't have facebook i just want to clarify i do not have a facebook um because I've had some issues recently with people thinking I have a Facebook, but we'll save that for another day. So yeah, if you guys ever need to talk, please do not hesitate to message me. I will always reply. Um, so yeah, I am currently not in a relationship. I have been single for a while and girl, let me tell you, the dating game is so rough. Like especially now during this freaking pandemic plandemic just gonna say that like the dating game is so hard and for me like i'll be 26 in a few months and guys that are that age like it's just like non-existent to find a guy that has like a stable job has a house is not like always partying doesn't have roommates like that kind of thing it's so hard to find nowadays that it's just a struggle girl and like I'm content by myself if I didn't want kids like I would probably stay single forever like I'm not even gonna lie but yeah so I've been like dating people here and there but it's nothing serious with anybody and it's probably not going to be anytime soon but yeah that's how my dating life is going people always ask me 
and I'm like, like all my clients are like, so how's the dating life? I'm like, it's literally non-existent. I'm like, people do not understand like how hard it is to date nowadays and like find a decent ass guy. And like, I'm not saying it's not hard for guys to find like a decent girl, cause I'm sure it is like too, but yeah, dating, trying to find a guy is like the worst. I'm like almost convinced that I'm just gonna stay single the rest of my life because I am slowly losing hope. But yeah, we'll see. One day, I would love to get married and have kids like soon. Like I always envisioned myself having kids by like 25. So now, oh, this eyelash keeps popping up. Sometimes I hate, like this is my favorite eyelash glue. This is the House of Lashes eyelash glue that you get from Sephora. But I freaking hate when it's a new, it's a new bottle and it's like too wet. It's not like sticky enough. I just lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, that's kind of just an update on my life. Like I said, it's not very exciting. I've been pretty boring other than buying a house, which I think was like a major life goal in my opinion. Like I've been wanting to buy a house for so, so long. And so I finally made it happen. And like I said, I'm not gonna talk about it too, too much cause I will do a video, but it's a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. And it's actually a townhouse because for me, like I work so, so much that I don't want to have to do like a lot of outdoor maintenance so for me it's perfect plus clearly no kids no boyfriend no nothing so I'm just in this big townhouse by myself uh, like I said I've really really missed you guys I've missed filming and I'm definitely gonna be back because I know so many people have messaged me asking when I was gonna film a YouTube video and I kept saying, I was like, oh, I'm gonna film one, I'm gonna film one. And then I would say, oh, I actually filmed one because I filmed my house tour and I never posted it. So this one is legit. I don't even care if it's so, if it's like a terrible video, but like, I just really wanna get something up for you guys. And these eyelashes are freaking driving me crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go grab lunch with my mom. We're gonna go get pho. If you haven't ever had pho, like you really need to go try it. It's a Vietnamese beef noodle soup and me and my mom literally have it every single Monday. Like, not even kidding. Every single Monday we have it because Monday's my day off, today's Monday. Um, and I just love it so much, even though it's like, super hot outside i feel like i could eat soup every single day like i love it um so yeah this is my makeup transformation i feel like this lighting makes me look so bad i feel like i need more bronzer but then i feel like i look too cakey so anyways i'm gonna end the video here and i promise you i will be back to youtube promise Okay, I'm gonna go mess with this eyelash because it's driving me crazy. But anyways, so I'm so glad to be back filming. I love you guys. I miss you so, so, so much. And I promise tons of videos will be coming your way. So yeah, that is all I have to say for the day. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.